This is how some of our youth feel. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubts and nobody's answering their questions. Something that is so severe, so serious, that almost every single day I deal with it. And that is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. You've heard about this avalanche of apostasy, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you go back to 2006, 2007, and so on, there weren't a lot of ex-Muslims who were sort of public about being ex-Muslims. There, the, the number was small enough that Muslim apologists, and it was just common among Muslims to say, no one ever leaves Islam. No one has ever left Islam. Yeah. Even though they had apostasy wars, right? As soon as Muhammad died, then they had to fight apostasy wars because so many people were leaving Islam. They had to fight wars over it. Um, but somehow no one leaves Islam. Even during the lifetime of Muhammad, people were leaving Islam, like Abdullah ibn Abi Sar, who realized that Muhammad was a false prophet, was one of Muhammad's scribes yeah. and left Islam. But I mean, just think about how much it's changed in the last 15 years, where 15 years ago, they could still say, no one leaves Islam. It's not a thing that happens. And now you look at their videos and they're the ones talking about the avalanche of apostasy, the tsunami of apostasy. Your child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American-born Muslims. Wallahi. Asadullah Ali was saying that he has personally met, he has personally met hundreds of apostates who are still living as Muslims. They're, they're, they're young Muslims. They're actually apostates. They don't believe it, but they still lead prayers in the mosque. They're still, they're, they still memorize the Quran. Yeah. They're still in madrasa. If you challenge them, they'd still defend Islam, but it's all fake. It's all fake. It's all just because they're scared of, you know, their family's reaction or they're scared of the reaction of their community or their, their imam, but they're confiding in him behind the scenes. Yes, I'm actually uh, I'm actually an ex-Muslim. Now, if he says personally he knows hundreds of these people, think about how many people don't confide that to him. Yep. So one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. And I'm talking within the hundreds. However, at the same time, they have also declared to me that they are Uthad, they are prophets of the Qur'an. They are leading prayer to the masjid, and they are still leading that life, while simultaneously declaring their apostasy. Now, of course, they're not open about it. Why aren't they talking to their parents? Why aren't they talking to the imams, their sheikh, the scholars? And the same answer, I get the same answer from every single one of them. They're scared to tell their parents. They're scared to tell the imam. They're scared to tell the sheriff. They're scared to tell their scholars. They're scared to be shamed. And they feel as though even when they give clues, the first reaction is either anger or isolation. Wallahi, some, some, uh, some people have been calling me and giving me some uh, 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 emails. Brother, I have doubts. What doubts, man? What embarrassment is that? Why you have doubts? Why? Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! And these Muslim, weak Muslims in the, in the West, sending me emails and this, I'm losing my face and I'm a half I'm really get the hell out. You are never a strong believer in the first place, you weakling. It is rare that you would find back home a young man or a young woman addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. That is unthinkable. That is the unthinkable. It is happening. It is happening continuously. Do you know what's going to happen? We're going to be eaten out from outside. We're talking about, you know what I'm trying to say? How to, uh, it's, it's not a leather sock. Yes, a leather sock. Who cares if it's a leather sock or not, man? Your, your child is going to become an apostate. And you're talking about if it's a leather sock. 
How dare you, man? It's a leather sock, you know. Shut up! No, shut up! What the hell, man? In America, this is the last thing. 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims. American born That's Muslims. Right. Yeah. Wallahi. The priority is our preservation. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. It is happening. <laughs>